Welcome back to Firestorm Games and another Games Workshop unboxing video. This time we'll be taking a look at the new releases for Warhammer 40k, the Invicta Tactical Warsuit for the Adeptus Astartes, and as usual we'll be assembling the miniature whilst talking about the kit itself. So let's get started. At first glance, the Invicta Tactical Warsuit is pretty much a Redemptor Dreadnought. It features the same basic structure, and the number of armor panels are constructed in a similar style and shape. However, there are some key differences between this and the Redemptor. The Invicta Warsuit is just that, a warsuit. Regular Dreadnoughts are essentially walking life support systems, kitted out with weapons and armor to allow the mortally wounded Space Marine interred inside the sarcophagus to continue serving the Emperor. The Invicta, on the other hand, features a pilot who can climb in and out of the suit as required. Instead of the sarcophagus, shrouded by two interlocking armor plates, we instead have a roll bar structure surrounding an open cockpit where the piloting Primus Marine sits. Being part of the Vanguard forces, this pilot is kitted out in Phobos armor, the same type as used by the infiltrators. It's this detail that gives us some hints as to the battlefield role of the Invicta. The background provided in the Codex points out that the Invicta is essentially a Redemptor Dreadnought stripped down in order to operate in a more stealth-based role. This offers Vanguard forces some heavy-hitting firepower without sacrificing their ability to operate behind enemy lines. This firepower is provided by a number of weapon systems that you can choose from. For its primary armaments, the Invicta can be equipped with either a twin Iron Hail autocannon for longer range engagements, or with a flame spewing Incendium cannon. This heavy flamer is a perfect choice for anyone looking to get up close and personal with the enemy, taking full advantage of the forward setup afforded by the Invicta's lighter frame. This close range nicely complements the Invicta's power fist and its ability to wield a sidearm heavy bolter, which it can also shoot like a pistol. To complement their arm mounted weaponry, the Invicta also has mounted to its carapace two Iron Hail heavy stubbers and a Fragstorm grenade launcher. All of these options mean that your Invicta will be unleashing a vast amount of firepower each turn and can even make use of its Syncendian cannon in the first turn it arrives by a forward deployment. It's in these weapons that we can see our first choices for customizations. The primary weapon can be chosen from the two already mentioned. Alternatively, with a little cutting and drilling, you could easily magnetize these two options to give you more choice in army building. Finally, the crew compartment and pilot give us our final choices. Much like its beefier Big Brother's frontal armor panels, the Invictus roll bars can be left hinged so that they can be opened out to reveal the pilot who can be assembled from a choice of three heads. Assembly is fairly straightforward, although the light nature of the walker does mean that there are a few additional pipes, rods and struts that must be assembled that would otherwise have been hidden behind larger armor panels. So let's continue the assembly of this miniature and take a look at the finished piece. And here we have the completed Invicta Tactical Warsuit. Overall, it's a pretty cool looking model. The weapon options and stripped down nature of the vehicle are interesting and fit nicely in with the more stealthy aspects of Vanguard forces. However, I do feel that the warsuit aspect of the vehicle lets it down somewhat. I think it would have maybe looked better in the regular Dreadnought configuration or even with an option for a more enclosed crew compartment. Although saying that, the Imperial Fist and Victor would have a pretty cool Aliens Power Loader feel. Now if you're looking to pick up one of these walkers for yourself, they are currently available on the Firestone Games web store for at least 10% off their RRP, and you'll find a link to their page in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all of our latest videos. So we just want to say a big thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.